Okay, I have a question for you. What happens when an improv legend, and yes, I said legend, by the way, teams up with a master hypnotist? Well, here's a hint, take a look. All right, so here's the deal. You can't be hypnotized against your own will. Maybe tonight we'll find the next Ryan Stiles or someone funny. It's hard to say. If you want to feel more relaxed than you've ever felt before in your entire life, if you want to have a great time tonight, if you're 18 years of age or older, <laughs> come up on stage right now. Go search around the stage area yeah. or your belly button because your belly button's missing. It's gone. Here we go. What are you looking for? My, my belly button. <laughs> So good. So obviously comedian Colin Mocker, you see him there, teaming up with hypnotist Asad Mekki for their hilarious new show. It's called Hip Rob. You get it? Hypnosis plus improv. Hip Rob. Both Colin and Asad join us now in studio. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Oh, this good good. This looks good. So you went with Hip Rob. Rob, were you thinking maybe you could go with like Impsis at one point or you just wipe that off the table? Not an option. Fascinating question, but no. <laughs> Not <laughs> that even wasn't close. even in the running. Okay, so let's talk about how this show works. Asad, I understand this was your idea. Yes. And so your job is what? You've got to pick the right people to be part of this, right? So I bring up 20 volunteers, yeah. I hypnotize them, whittle it down to the best five hypnotic subjects, enter Mr. Colin Mockery from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Mm. Colin then improvises with the people on stage while they're under hypnosis. Lindsay, the show is fast paced, it's action packed, yeah. it's high energy but above all else, hilarious, because we got Colin in, in the show. Yeah, so talk about your role here. What do you do? As the world's greatest living improviser, <laughs> I am there to... Um, um, Assad provides me with four improv partners, four or five improv mm -hmm. partners. So we form an instant improv troupe, we do an improv show, we have a, a set list of like four or five games, oh, so ranging easy. from one of them has to propose to me, or we I do a duet with one of them. Uh, we have a scenario which is a funeral of a beloved pet. Right. So it's um, it's just fun. They keep us both both of us on our toes. Yeah, I bet. So okay, you talk about you bring you bring twenty people up, but then you've got to whittle it down. Yes. And you say you keep the best. Yes. So what does that mean? How do you know who's going to do well? Yeah. So I'm looking for indicators. So I'm looking for changes in rate, location of respiration. So breathing changes, skin color changes, skin. Skin, skin tonus. color changes? Yeah, you go light to dark, dark to light. Skin tonus changes. There's a shyness and dullness to the skin. Vasodilation. Really? The capillaries in the eyes become engorged. So if I see that checklist, <laughs> I'll keep the people on stage. If I don't, I'll remove them from the stage area. We don't use any plants. I've never met any of these people before, <laughs> right. Lindsay. They're just random volunteers from the audience that make an improv show with us every night. So you're, Colin, you're watching him select these people. In yeah. your mind, are you like, wait, but that one would have been better. Wait, this person I, uh, I trust him totally. Yeah. So, um, and I've gotten to the point where I can see, the, obviously, the ones who are faking it, right. the ones who really want to be hypnotized but aren't making it. Um, and I think the audience sees it too, because the one, the ones who aren't hypnotized give way more than Assad is asking. So there's a part where he asks people, "Okay, you're in a car, you're driving a car," and the people who are actually in a state are doing. There's an economy of movement. They're actually driving, as opposed to oh. people who are driving some clown car. Right. Yeah. The over-exaggeration of that steering yeah. wheel gets you every time. Um, okay, so I, this happened to me. I don't know if you know this, but you probably don't know this because you don't know me. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> this happened to me. I was in last year of high school. We had a master hypnotist come, and then they did this thing where they whittled it down. I ended up being one of the people. And so I was part of this show. And what was interesting for me, what happened was, um, they were like, oh, and now you're on a spaceship and you're seeing all your family and friends wave goodbye to them. So everyone started waving and cheering and happy. And I started crying. I started crying. And then he came over and he was like, tap me on the shoulder. He's like, now you will be happy. Tap me, boom, happy. Do you have any of those moments where you're like, I thought you were gonna be good, like the good person to pick. And then we turn and then we're gonna, we're gonna bring it back. So the best way to describe hypnosis is you get so caught up in a movie that you're moved to a physiological response. Right. So you watch a horror movie, your heart starts to race, your palms get sweaty. Logically, you know what you're watching on the big screen's not real. But for that moment in time, it feels really real. You watch a tearjerker, you get so caught up in this tearjerker, you start to bawl. That's exactly what occurs up on stage. So people come up on stage, they get fully immersed in the moment, and for that moment in time, it feels 
really real. The main thing is we remove all the suggestions after the show is done. Yeah. We send them back into the audience in a really great state. Great state. It is a lot of fun to be a mm -hmm. part of. I can tell you from first hand, it was really, really fun. It's really fun to watch. And with you guys, it's just going to be absolutely great to, yeah. to go along with We also steal the... their wallets. You still... so... <laughs> we steal all their money. Well, because yeah, they don't know. You'll never know. know. Yeah. Hey, guys, you can check out the Hip Rob, not the IMSIS, the Hip Rob <laughs> website for a list of upcoming tour dates across Ontario, Alberta, and New Brunswick. We'll be right back. Thank you both. Thank you. Excellent. That's great. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.